Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with Horse Racing Tips for Thursday the 6th, well the 6th of the 6th, the 6th of June 2024. So, um, a very quick video. So what I've gone for is, it's a £10 stake. I've gone for a £10 each way lucky 15 taking the prices and a £10 each way lucky 15 where I've left all the prices to SP and I've had 50 pence each way singles on all four of them, it comes to £10 stake. I, I didn't realise, but I, I can tell you now, they're all pretty much either front runners or up with the pace. So the first selection is Burge Malinka in the 255 at Hamilton, paying four places instead of three. Ran a decent race last time under Jack Nichols when, when I actually tipped it. I thought it would, would have ran better. It ran a decent race, but stro stronger handling, and I think it would have been like possibly the winner of the race. Um, it's a more competitive race, in my opinion. But um, with Paddy Mathers on board, hopefully it should get a stronger ride. And I think it's got every chance. The second selection is Beyond Borders. And the 5 past 3 at Haydock paying four places instead of three. Last time, it was only mid-division. I, th I think it was at Chester. Um, it was reshod before the race. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to affect its performance. I I'm saying it's normally negative, going, like going through a bit of a trauma, really. Um, so Beyond Borders is normally prominent or pressing, pressing the lead. Last time it ran a much better race being mid-division. Mid I think it would be no worse than third or fourth. Could even lead. Um, and I think it could be, if it's on the pace and it's a sensible pace, it could be um, hard to keep out of the frame. It's only 4-1, to one, which is a bit stingy. The third selection is Pause for Thought. In the 325 at Hamilton, paying four places instead of three. I saw this horse in July last year, um, win at Hamilton, and it wants a stiff six, and it doesn't want seven, in my opinion. It ran over seven last time at Chester, a uh, week and late on. The last time I saw this, as I said, run at Hamilton over a stiff six, it never looked like losing. It was up with the pace. Um, Richard Kingscote rode it that day. I think it's, an, it's um, an apprentice tomorrow, but I think it's got a decent chance. Like I said, it, it's going to be up with the pace. Preferably, I think it needs a nice easy lead. Um, like... That's what you always want, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I think it's got a cracking chance. And it's another one up with pace. And the fourth and final selection is Astapor. In the 335 at ADOC, paying four places instead of three. This horse is stepping up in class, and it will be quite difficult. But if it doesn't get pestered for the lead, it can be a... It's, this horse has got plenty of speed, but also a little bit of temperament. This horse, actually, and I don't want <laughs> to... After time, but I fancied this horse a long time ago when it won 150 to 1 when they've been messing around with it. And you can see what they did with it. They used to run it over like a mile on four and do a mid race move, and then they used to like seven furlongs, and then all of a sudden it went back to a sprint distance, led, and never looked like losing. Well, if this horse had left alone in front, which it probably isn't going to be left alone in front, but if it is, it's currently 14 to 1, and it could be it, it, it could threaten the principles. So I think it's got a good chance. Uh, so those are the four selections for Thursday. So if you can give me a like or a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.